Hi, welcome back. I am Dr. Sarah from Dr. Sarah's Essentials. Um, today I am going to introduce to you um, my um, mastitis and other health products. Um, I graduated from vet school in 2003 and started uh, doing um, organic uh, vet work pretty quickly and there was a demand for um, products for treatment of mastitis and other health concerns, but there was a shortage of products. Um, so I started uh, with Dr. Detloff's help um, researching um, essential oils that worked for um, curing and treating mastitis problems and infections, swollen udders, etc. and did different sensitivity um, exams um, and testing in the incubator, growing up different mastitis um, bugs and seeing uh, which essential oils work best at killing um, the um, typical mastitis um, bacteria. So um, back in 2006, um, came out with our first product, Savvy Udder. It's um, a wonderful salve that's um, good for udder health um, overall. Um, Mastitis problems, um, chapped teats, um, great for uh, to preventing frozen teats in the winter. Um, it comes in several different sizes, but it's a 100% oil-based um, ointment or salve with a blend of several essential oils that are um, been um, researched and scientifically tested and uh, work um, well on um, killing the typical mastitis bacteria. We have um, other products um, for specific mastitis um, infections, the ABC Relief and the D+. Um, we also have um, the Utterly Soft, which is a product that is uh, lotion-based, really strong um, with the peppermint oils that are wonderful um, for applying to the udder um, and other um, issues you ha may have where you have swelling on edema. But um, the reason they work so well or the essential oils in the utterly soft um, is they cause vasodilation. So when you have edema or swelling, um, and you can find that and figure that out by if you press on something that, that has a lot of swelling, if it leaves an indentation, that is utter edema or edema um, in general. Um, when you're applying a certain essential oils that you get that um, warm tingling feeling, that is um, vasodilating. Um, vasodilation is happening to the blood vessels, basically opening up the blood vessels. So if you have a lot of swelling, um, that's going to be constricting the blood vessels and you're going to have a slower time of healing. But if you can use something that, like the Utterly Soft that has vasodilating properties, it'll open up the blood vessels and allow that edema to drain out and more importantly, let the, the um, new um, antibodies and the white blood and the red blood cells in to help fight the infection. Um, so that's Utterly Soft is really good for that, utter edema. Um, then we have, it's winter time right now, it's wet, one day it's wet and 40 degrees and muddy outside, the next day it is uh, 10 below and cold. Um, Milking Comfort is a great product to use um, during the winter months for a post tea dip. It has um, oil properties that um, not only provide a good conditioning for the teat, uh, research has shown that it um, kills as many bacteria uh, on the teat ends as the, the most common uh, product on the market, iodine. And then also for the winter, or I'm sorry, the summer months, it also is a teat, um, a fly repellent. Um, so that is a great product. Um, for the cold, cold winter months, Protector is basically like Savvy Utter, but it's a liquid base. It's 100% liquid, 100% oil base. So it's a good product to use as in a, in a teat dipper to apply and dip on the quarters, on the udder, or teat ends, excuse me, right after um, milking before the cows go outside. 
Um, that's great to prevent frozen teats. When the cows come in 12 hours later, you still have a great um, oil sheen on the quarter um, or on the teat end. And um, that uh, provides a great um, barrier against the cold weather and, um, and frozen teats because it's also because it's 100% oil base. And the essential oils, strong essential oils in there um, are great for their antibacterial properties. Um, I think that is it um, for this, um, for this uh, brief introduction to the products. I also uh, sell and carry other mastitis products or products that I would use for high somatic cell count. Um, farmers get paid, as you know, um, on your milk quality. So if we can do things to lower your somatic cell count, um, you'll get paid more for your milk per hundred weight. So um, give me a call um, if you're dealing with any mastitis or milk quality issues and we can set you up with a protocol and the best products that will work on your farm. Thank you. Um, nice to see you all again and have a great afternoon.